I'm here on the campus of McDaniel College right now. It's in Westminster, Maryland, uh, sort of between, not, not too far from Baltimore, Washington, D.C., um, up on a hill appropriately. Very pretty campus. This is a Sunday morning around 9 a.m., and the finals period begins tomorrow. Uh, I don't recommend visiting a college campus on a Sunday morning really early. I was walking by dormitories. I was listening. I heard a few uh, alarms, alarm clocks going off. Uh, students are maybe just starting to rouse for the day. A um, couple things I want to point out about McDaniel. Number one, um, it's a lot less expensive than some of the other schools that I've been visiting in the area. Uh, I'll compare it to Dickinson. The price of Dickinson, the tuition alone, is forty-one thousand dollars. The entire cost of attendance here at McDaniel is $41,000. So the tuition is, is almost $10,000 less, not quite. Um, so what does that mean? What does that mean for you as a, as a student or as a family trying to figure out where to go? Well, one of the other things that's important is that McDaniel gives a lot more away in terms of merit scholarships. So many, many more of the students who apply and are accepted here get scholarships than at Dickinson College. Um, if you're probably in the, t in the top half of its, of its accepted class, and maybe even a little bit lower, um, you may get some merit aid here, which will reduce the cost of the education. Now, well, how does that play out in terms of the, the facilities? Well, I'll be honest, the, the student center here is not all that nice. It's a little bit uh, less attractive than, and, than the one at Dickinson. Um, so your $10,000 extra that you pay at Dickinson will go to pay for amenities. So the, the sports fields, they're great, they're perfectly fine, but you, they're not as, not as beautifully manicured. Same thing with the, the campus um, facilities as a whole here at McDaniel. Not quite as, um, you know, <laughs> every blade of grass is in its place at Dickinson, where it's a little bit, um, you know, it's still very well, well kept. I mean, it's a beautiful campus here, but um, not as manicured. Um, what does it mean in terms of the education? Well, Dickinson is slightly more selective than McDaniel, but I would venture to guess that the classroom experience at Dickinson and McDaniel are very similar. After all, you know, Shakespeare is Shakespeare, and reading all of the plays and taking a course in Shakespeare is going to be very similar at both institutions. Same with Chemistry 101, same with differential equations. I mean, um, the substance of what students learn at Dickinson versus McDaniel is probably not that different. Of course, there are certain um, uh, programs and orientations that you might find at, at uh, McDaniel that you won't find at Dickinson and vice versa. I mean, there's a deaf education program here at, at McDaniel. Um, it does have a little bit, uh, quite a, a few more uh, professionally oriented degree programs, majors, than you would find at, at Dickinson. Um, so there, there are certainly differences between the two places, but um, I think that in, in a world in which we are thinking about value in education um, and trying to figure out how best to spend our hard-earned money. Um, McDaniel is a very, very, very good choice. Um, it's definitely worth taking a look at if you're trying to find a less expensive alternative. Um, as I said in a recent video about Dickinson, you know, only 13% of the students there get merit-based aid. So they get, the only 13% get discounts off the $41,000 in tuition. So um, certainly there, there are, of course, need-based scholarships. But um, here, McDaniel is trying to attract a talented, academically interested student body. Dickinson is trying to attract a very wealthy student body. So there are going to be very big differences in the character or the, the type of student that you're going to find at the two schools. Again, both are great. Both have wonderful strengths and, and inherent weaknesses, but um, I wouldn't rule out a place like McDaniel just by walking around and looking at the facilities. You really want to talk to the kids. You really want to get a sense of the kind of, of 
classroom experience you're going to get. And I would bet you dollars to donuts that it's not going to be that much different. It's not going to be 25% better at Dickinson than it is at McDaniel. Of course, that's for you to judge, but um, I'm enjoying the, my walk around McDaniel's campus. Again, it's not the best time to be here. I'm not meeting very many people, but fortunately I have talked to people um, from the admissions office at McDaniel in the past, and I, I really think that this is something, this is the kind of, of school that more students should pay attention to, especially if they're looking for a value education and they are seeking a liberal arts experience.